Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to read polyline properties like vertices, length, area, and a point at given distance on P line. And also we shall see how to create a polyline if we have a point list that is the vertices list of a polyline. First of all, let us try to read the polyline name and then try to get the length, area and other things. Let's go to Visual Spy DE and we know that how to get polyline name. Set Q, PL, CAR of end cell backslash n select a polyline. This is 2D polyline only. Okay friends, let's try to load this. So it is asking to select a polyline. I have selected this polyline. Now we have this entity name in PL variable. Now we know how to get the different properties of this particular polyline. What is it? Set Q PL DB list and get PL. What is this PL DB list? We know that it is a variable in which we are going to save the database properties of this polyline. How do we get those properties using entget function by passing the name of that polyline to entget function we will get all these properties and i am and i am going to store those properties in pldb list variable so let me load this one also you can see so many properties have come if you want to check one by one just select this variable right click select add watch and you can double click this one to check each property we know that minus one DXF code stores entity name and zero DXF code stores entity type and five entity handle, eight layer, 90 number of vertices, 70 polyline is closed or open means if this value is zero, it is open. If this value is one, it means it is closed. Now it is open and every 10 DXF code stores each vertex of the polyline we can see 10 number of vertices available over here so let's close this now i would like to show you how to read each vertex of this polyline so how do we get already we are having all the vertices in this database list so simply by getting all these 10 associated list values and store them into a separate list so that all the vertices we will have Okay, let me show you one simple way how to get only these vertices from this PLDB list. So for that I am going to use a new function called VL remove if not. This is a wonderful function. So in this I would like to add a lambda function. Lambda and uh, I want to I want to give the variable name as x. So my condition is this car of x equal to 10 if that is not remove that okay so that's what my condition and my list is pldb list so in pldb list if the first element is equal to 10 if it is not then remove that one means all the 10 associated list values will be maintained or not remaining all will be removed by this function so let me show you that one just select this and click this one you can see all 10 associated lists are returned simplest way now we need to remove all these tens so for that also i am going to use map care function and cdr as first element removal so cdr can remove the first element from given list so that will be applied to this list means the list returned by the VL if not okay so on that we are applying CDR function using map care function so what happens let us see so you can see all the vertices of this polyline are returned by this simple complex statement so it is a little bit complex but not that much you can store these um, vertices into a variable so just write v list and that and then load this statement so that you can see add watch and you can see all the 10 elements over here from 0 to 9 means 
10 vertices are given. So this way you can simply read vertices of a polyline. Then how do we get length and area? So I would like to show you how to use ActiveX. We have already seen this in previous videos. We know that by loading VL load comp, we can use com component and use ActiveX methods. Set Q object VLAX ename to VLA object that is for PL. So PL is the normal entity name. So we would like to get the VLA object name from this PL and storing it into OBJ variable. So let us load this statement. We will get this object name so that we can we can apply ActiveX methods on this object. Now let us see how to get the length of this polyline. That is very simple using visualist ActiveX methods. VLAX get property of object and the property is length. That's all. So just load this statement. You will get directly the length. If you want to store it into a variable, just write it over here. Set Q length of PL and then load this again so that that will be stored in this length of PL variable. Very similar to that, we can also get area. Set Q area of PL VLAX get property of object that is area property and i am loading this you can see the area will be returned so 462 if the polyline is closed the area contained in that polyline uh, is 462.585 units similarly we can also get a point on this polyline at given distance i mean like if you want to find a point at 50 units distance along this polyline we can get that one so to get that one we will use uh, VLAX curve functions that is like this VLAX curve get point at distance function and the object and the distance. So let us say I am giving 50 units since it is of 120 units length now I would like to get a point at 50 units distance. So I am just closing this and I want this point set Q PT1 that is the point I want to store in. So let us load this one. See we have got a point and this is the point which is at 50 units distance from the start of this polyline. Let us check this point is exactly at 50 units distance or not. So to make sure that one I am going to draw a circle over there. So and to make list cons 0 circle cons 10 pt1 cons radius is 40 so i am giving some 5 units radius okay okay so entity type circle center point is pt1 and radius is 5 units now load this statement and let us go to autocad now this is the place now let us try to break this polyline at the center of the circle and check the length so break this polyline as first point center and second point also the same and select this polyline and you can see 50 units so that is how we can get a point on polyline at given distance so you can place a block also at that point if you have any blocks to place over there and finally how to create a polyline so let us see that one already we are having vertices in v list so let us check that one so here already it is there so you can see all 10 vertices are in this list now i would like to erase this polyline and get back to visual spidee so to create polyline we need to prepare a list of properties that is list cons 0 lw polyline is the first one next uh, cons 100 that is ACDB entity next one is ACDB polyline these two things we need to mention and then layer zero layer and then number of vertices we can give direct 10 or you can give length of v list 
that also we can give and then is it closed or open i am giving zero means it is open so this is the property list which we would like to apply to this polyline and then we need to append vertices list also we are having all the vertices over here but they must be associated with the 10 code then only we need to append 10 to this list means they should be associated with 10 then only the list should similar to this list when we get when we use antiquate function which are the list is returned by the autocad the similar kind of list we need to provide so to prepare that list again means we are reverse engineering anyway we will do a map car function function once again it is like this i would like to write map car for a lambda function i want to write take each point and construct a association list from v list so if you load this statement you can see all the vertices will be associated with 10 dxf code now we need to append these two things append these two lists okay and then use and to make x on this list and to make x on this list okay so that's all so that we can create that polyline i have already erased that one now by loading this statement is a bit complex so it is simple lw polyline which is acdb entity acdb polyline in zero layer with 10 number of vertices which is open with these vertices so just select this statement and click load selection so it is created you can see the name has been returned just go to autocad and you can see the same item has come or if you want to ensure let me go back and i would like to add color also so that you can easily understand i am giving 60 to 1 which is color code now load it once again you can see the red color polyline here okay so like that we can work with polyline so let us go back and check what are all different things we have done with the polyline first of all we have selected a polyline and we got its name and using entcate function we have retrieved all the properties in pldb list which you can see over here and in this list we first of all try to extract all the vertices using vl remove if not and then uh, we try to get the activex object name and using that we got the length we got the area of the polyline as well and then we also got a point at given distance on the polyline right using vlax curve get point at distance function and we also kept a circle over there to ensure that the point is correct or not and finally we tried to create a lw polyline using the same vertices list okay you can also use your own list if you have that one over here and remaining is the same way okay friends hope all of you understood how to deal with polyline friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session